Hey, what is up everybody? This is Katakus, and today I'm going to show you how to, um, basically when you've made a, a bunch of sequences in here and you want to turn it into a song and perhaps record vocals over top of it, I'm going to show you how to do that in a pretty easy way. Um, the audio won't be great uh, coming from the device because that's not the key factor. So I haven't lined in. I'm just going to talk to you on the camera and show you what I do step by step here. So I'm going to assume that you already know how to make a song um, using the different sequences or using like sequence by sequence. So I've done a tutorial of this before where I've taught you how to make all your music in one sequence. Let's just go here real quick. Um, make all of your, your song uh, in one sequence. Let me just minimize that. Okay. So make all of your song in one sequence. So it's like track one track two, track three, track four, track five, you make all these tracks in the one sequence, and then you um, go to here and you copy the sequence and you copy it to the next sequence. And you can keep doing this um, like as many times as you want the length of the song to be and then just mute and unmute things per sequence. So like, for example, let's just say for example, let's go back to the main here. Let's say, for example, that my song is um, five sequences long and I want to start it with the beat, which is in track one, and I don't want anything else. So I'd go to track two and I'd mute that and tra track three and I'd mute that and track four, I'd mute that, so on and so forth. So I'd mute all those. Then I'd go to sequence two and I would unmute something that I want to play. So I'd have my track one, which is my beat. And then let's say I want to introduce a new element. Because I copied the last sequence to this sequence, um, it would have all the tracks from track one. They'd also be in, in sequence two. Sequence one would also be in sequence two. But in the first sequence, track one would be unmuted and the rest of them would be muted. In track two, I would unmute something, go to sequence three, and I would unmute like maybe track three, so one, two, and three are unmuted. So this is, we've already gone through this. If you've watched my other tutorial, if you haven't, you should watch that and that will tell you how to build a song this way. But what do you do when you have built all of your sequences and you want to turn it into a song and most importantly, you want to record vocals over top of it? Well, it's not actually that hard. Um, what you do is you go into your menu button here and you go into song and in here, I currently have two sequences. Now, I don't know how well that's showing up on here. There we go. I have two sequences. But basically, let's say that we're starting from scratch here. Um, I've got all of my sequences listed here, okay? So there's one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. Seven tracks, or seven sequences, okay? Um, so what I would do is I would click on the first one, and I click on the first one, and I would insert it. I don't actually don't have to click uh, click on that. Um, if you look over here, it says sequence five. So I can turn it to whatever sequence I want using the rotary knob right here. I can turn it whatever sequence I want. Then I insert another one. And it will be the same sequence as the last one. So I just go in here and I adjust it to two. Then I insert again. It is sequence two. I want to increase it to sequence three. And then after I do that, I go to sequence, uh, I just insert again. That is still sequence three, so I turn it to sequence four. So I have four sequences. The first one says it's 40 bars. Um, this is, that's kind of skipping a step. Let me just delete that one here. Let's just have three eight sequence bars, okay? So I'm going to insert that there. Uh, four eight sequence bars of four sequences of eight bars. So in total, there's 40 bars. Is that right? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, 32, 32 bars. Let's do one more. Insert. Okay, now it's 40 bars. So there's five sequences, eight bars each. So that's 40 bars in total. But the thing is, if I were to make this as the song mode, then I wanted to record vocals, I would have to do them per sequence. So I'd have to go back to the main right here. And I'd have to go to sequence one. 
and I would have to go to my audio track. This is what I'm using, my audio track, okay? I, there are other ways to do, um, like record vocals, but again, those are all making samples and then putting them in. So I'm thinking, what if you just wanna sing through the whole song? In this way, you're gonna have to sing till eight bars is done, then you're gonna go to sequence two and then record your audio track for that, and then sequence three and record your audio track for that, and it's kind of a hassle. What if you just wanna sing through the whole thing? How do you do it? So let's go back to our menu here. Let's click on song. We see the sequences that we set up right here. We've got uh, five sequences, all eight bars. That's 40 bars. It's not a very long song, but it's just an example. If you were to write a song, you'd probably make it longer with more bars and whatever. But what do you do next if you just want to record your singing over top of it or you want to play piano over top of it without stopping the song and starting it or play guitar or whatever? Well, what you do is you click on this button right here, convert sequence. Okay, now what it's going to do is it's going to assign all those um, sequences as one sequence with all of the bars. Okay, so it'll turn that uh, five sequence, eight bars each into 40 bars. But there's a bug. So if I just click do it, nothing happens. That's weird. What's like what what just happened? How does this work? So click on convert sequence eight, use the rotary bar turn it once so it goes to nine then go back to eight or go to any unused one doesn't matter but you've got to change the number that's there on there it's just a bug i don't know why but until you like turn it, it it doesn't work so you turn it and then do it so now on sequence eight i have a 40 bar sequence that's on sequence eight so i can delete all these if i want to and i can insert one and I'll change it from sequence four. Let me just make that in focus. Change it from sequence four to sequence eight. This is for later. This is for when you turn it into like an MP3 or whatever. So now that I've got that in there, let's go back to our main. And on here, it's already selected um, sequence eight because that was the one that was highlighted in the song mode. And it's 40 bars. Perfect. Okay, now in here, what we can do is we can click on audio, we've got audio track one. Um, this is not normally selected to begin with, and usually it's just like this, okay? This is what it looks like from the start. So you've got audio track one. What you're going to do is, I believe you need to hit monitor to hear it while you're recording. So when I hit like that, then what I can do is I can arm the recording, press record, and press play start. Now, whatever I record while this is playing, it's going to record. So I can also pay attention to my bars up here, okay? Right up here, I can pay attention to my bars. This track works all in eight bar sequences, right? So um, every eight bars, it's gonna like recycle everything. It's actually, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll stop right there and the song is stopped at 12.1. I don't really have to pay too much attention to that because if I make a mistake or something, what's important to know is you can record over like the middle of something without destroying the end or like, like the without destroying the beginning or the end. So you can actually make changes to the recording, uh, but it's going to replace everything from the start to stop of the moment that you hit record and play, not play start. That'll start recording over the beginning. So I just recorded a bit, let's say, I didn't actually because I don't have my recording gear hooked up to it, but um, let's just say that I recorded that, ah, whatever, let me just try this here. I'm gonna turn that on and I'm gonna go back to, I'm gonna click on record, I'm gonna click on play start and la la la. Okay, stop. Now, I can play it. No sound. What is going on? Well, gotta click on monitor again, because monitor is whether you hear it or you don't. I believe this will work. Let me play start again. Play start. Okay, 
So I've got that in there, and that was uh, how many bars? Let's let's just scan through it a little bit. I'm gonna find the end of that. It ends at about five, okay? Now I can leave that as a break. Normally I would record a little bit longer to fill up the full eight bars. Now remember, you don't like start each sequence here on bar eight because the beginning of the sequence is one, which means the beginning of the next bar is actually nine, okay? So from here, I can start recording again. Never ever use overdub for the audio track. Not because uh, it's gonna do anything wrong, but because it's just not gonna work. Overdub does not work for audio tracks. Uh, you always have to use record, and don't worry, it's not like the other things where you hit record and it erases everything. It just records over that spot in the audio recording. So now I can click on record and not play start, <laughs> otherwise that'll bring me back to bar one, and hit play. Okay, now you'll see there, I kind of went a little bit over the bar, um, so I don't really know what to do with that, because the next time I record something, it's going to cut that off. I could just start recording from here. I could just hit record and play, and then it'll start recording um, from exactly where I left off, which is fine. But this is the basic way to fill up an entire song um, with your audio recording on a single track without having to do sequence by sequence. You can just convert it like that. So let's go through a quick summary of what I've done here to try to make it nice and easy to get that information in your brain. So step one, we build our song. So we're in the MIDI screen, just like we see, we build our song and you can build it sequence by sequence if you want to. You can go to like start at sequence one, record some stuff, and then click on uh, this button here, copy the sequence, go to sequence two. Let's just do it for the sake of doing it. I don't mind if I mess this up. From sequence one to sequence two and do it. And then sequence two will be exactly like sequence one. And then in there you can, oops, in there you can start building your next um, track, so on and so forth. And then you copy that into sequence three. And from sequence three, you you start working on track three and you record some stuff and so on and so forth and then you make yourself a whole song and then you have a bunch of sequences. So you go to the song screen. From the song screen, you, let's say it's empty. From here, you select the sequences that you want in your song. See, these are all 40 bars, now I just changed them. Let's assume that we've got a bunch of sequences that are eight bars, okay? I'm just trying to do this here. I'm trying to use the phone here to Okay, so I'm gonna make a bunch of those, okay? Let's assume that our song is eight and seven, eight sequences long. Eight sequences long. So that's how long as you've written your song, you've written all the sequences and stuff like that, and you wanna turn this into your song. From here, you wanna go, the next step is convert sequence. And you want to make sure this is highlighted and change it once, just like, go to an unused one and then back to an unused one, whichever one, it'll always select the unused one um, by default. But you wanna make sure to move it once, that's the bug. If you don't, then it won't select that one that it clearly says is selected. So you just like move it once and you click do it and then sequence nine has that and apparently it's, oh yeah, it's 64 bars because it's eight sequences with eight bars, 64 bars, that's the sequence that we're working on and we're gonna delete all these this is for our end process. We're gonna insert one and it is going to be sequence, oops, it's going to be sequence nine because that's our 64, 64 bar one. Sequence nine has 64 bars. That's the song that we're gonna make. Then we go back to the main and in main it's already selected on sequence nine and you see it's 64 bars. You go into your audio screen. From your audio screen, you choose the track you want to record to. You arm it, so it will be white to start off with. You do that to arm it. 
You can turn monitor on to just monitor if you want to. If it's just on monitor, then it's going to finish recording. And then when it plays back, you won't be able to hear anything. So monitor auto means that it's going to listen and play. That way, when you finish recording, it'll still play. You'll actually be able to hear it. So once that's on there, you're going to hit record, play start. That's if you're starting from scratch. You're going to record all the audio or like the vocals that you want. And let's say here you make a mistake. You want to redo it. Turn it back as many bars as you remember are not messed up. Just click on bar here and like let's say you're on bar mm, 13 and you messed up uh, but like you know everything till bar 12 was fine so you just turn it back to bar 12 whoops there you go and then you hit record and play and you start recording and you can do this all the way until you filled up your song with your vocals. I hope this was a helpful video for you. If it was, leave a like and leave a comment if you want. I love comments, I love reading them and liking them and stuff like that. And I hope this was really helpful for you and I will get to another video the next time I feel the inspiration to do so. So thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you all next time. This is Katicus out.